I was the main person who set the sparks alight and gave the opportunity for a lot of those kids to do their own thing. And punk rock had a success because it enabled people to do things which before they thought were impossible. Like being in a group. Because prior to punk rock, being in a group and expressing yourself in that way seemed very, very difficult, you know, and quite mysterious and wi not within your grasp. You could, you know, with punk rock, just if you learnt three chords, you could get up on stage and do your thing. And that progressed over a period of five years up until the present day, where you have, although a lot of music that I would consider very bland right now, a lot of the attitudes that were prevalent in 1970 and 1977 through punk rock, um, it's given a lot of people confidence and, and is still here with us. You know, people would from a fashion point of view, be it in music or be it in clothes or be it in films, would say that it's old fashioned, but in fact it isn't really. It's still here and it's still under the surface and it's still bubbling over. And I think it will come back in new forms always because the attitude is so very, very good. Because it's to do with people doing things for themselves and do with people controlling their own methods and their own culture. And whether you do it through the form of, you know, clothes or you do it through the form of music, doesn't matter. Okay.